Hey, thanks again to Vaguely Someone for gifting us this game and Yals for playing it with us. Check the description for links to their page and tonight's Watch Together Wizard Spectacular. We're going to be watching a movie together and having a great time. I hope you can join us. Welcome back to Instant Replay Live. <laughs> <laughs> really kick it. <laughs> Got that down. Yo, man, it's free stroke Sonic Golf. <laughs> <laughs> and then I guess it's my part. Sonic Golf. <laughs> I I honestly hate our exit, but I've heard a lot of people love it. I love it. Um, I love it so much. I I feel like it's so like. A, like it, it pierces on that tit, 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 tit part, like, and I just I don't know. But if other people like it, I guess. So so it is, you know. Just go. Oh come it. on! It's okay. You, you can't die. <laughs> you have unlimited I just lives. Had the iron lizard. Yay! Uh oh. Whew, okay. So we have a whole bunch of levels still to go. It looks like. Oh God. It was probably foolish of me to think that we could have made it so fast to the boss. <laughs> oh, I'm, Hello, I'm old fat. man. What is this old man? He's like a businessman, and you can't kill him. <laughs> oh, I lost it. <clears throat> I lost my fatness. My fatness was my great strength. I'm just murdering. I'm just holding A and switching to B. I'm just like... Shooting. All right, finally getting oh, my girl back. Oh, I forgot the it's okay. heavy thing. It's okay. Skill has gone totally. out the window. Oh, aliens would have to be in the finale. They totally do. Oh yeah. Oh, those are alien weapons. I thought it might be a pickup. God, man, I don't even know. Like, I assumed I had made it to the end, but maybe I never even made it this far in Metal Slug X. Uh, when was this game like made? How old is this game? I don't even know. Like, it must have been post-SNES, right? So, mid-90s, maybe? Wow. But I don't even it, know. It plays really well for that old. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm throwing out a pretty serious guess there, so please take it with a, uh, a grain of salt. Okay. I did yeah. not do my research. But it does play well. I mean, it was... So it wasn't meant for home play, though. It was, um... It was arcade only at the time, so you can build a lot more robust and specific piece of hardware when you're doing that. So, that mine looks yeah. dangerous. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a good point. Oh, I forgot to friggin' fling and Start fling and flinger. Watch out yeah. for mines! Oh. Uh, I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive, I don't know how. Uh, probably had. Hey, even... jump up! Thank you. Oh, boy. oh, I just got a notification. You're now playing Metal Slug X. Oh, that's good. Well, that... <laughs> Thanks for finally starting, Garrett. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I, I mean, I got a notification saying you are playing Metal Slug oh, X. Oh, nice. Okay, I'm sorry. Thanks for finally starting, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can still turn it around and make it against you. Thanks for noticing, Garrett. <laughs> <laughs> Garrett Steam. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Gosh. I kind of want to... Ah! Um, we were on the topic of the, the outro song. I kind of want to get an intro song, too, but the other part of me feels like that wastes t people's time, you know? Like, the people who want to stick around for the outro are either new and they're hopefully going to hit that subscribe button. By the way, like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> um, or they're they're the kind of people who just watch everything like for completion, you know, and and so they'll listen to it every time. But the people who aren't those people, I don't want to like penalize them by making them watch an intro every time. Uh, you know what I mean? I completely understand. Yeah. So that's like that's why I don't I don't have an outro mm -hmm. like thing. And I have I go back and forth on whether or not I want to. Yeah. And I just never do. It's it's like I mean I feel like it's given us more subscribers, so it's done its job. So on the one hand it's useful, but on the other hand I don't want to waste people's time. Yeah. I we won't get rid of the outro yeah, at this sense. point. We'll keep the outro, but adding an intro is more the the concern I guess in my life at this point. 
Should we? Yeah. Should we or should we not have an intro? It's such a first world problem. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't know. <laughs> it absolutely is. Like, no one else has to deal with this kind of nonsense. <laughs> oh. I like how it's so much easier to talk now because the game doesn't even matter with infinite credits. Oh, yeah. It's oh, like, man. Whatever. Oh, Keep going. Oh, my. So, all I right. I stand here and shoot. You like, said you always wanted to, to do let's or do YouTube stuff since, like, fifth grade and you had that early channel, but you didn't really get into, like, what made you want to do it? Like, what inspired you? Or um, what inspires you still today? That would be another good, actually, follow-up question. I don't know. Like, the main reason I want to do it anymore is to meet people. Yeah, totally. Like, and that's a, like that's a, I feel like... Oh, good. Because, like, I don't get... I don't have, like, that many friends at my school. Mm-hmm. And so, like, or let alone people that like the same things. Yeah, high school is such so an I awkward time was... in life. Like, it's just oh, the man. worst. It's it's really weird. Because when you get out into the real world and you stop having to interact with people, I mean, you'll have a job, right? And then you'll have to interact yeah. with people there. But that's only part of your life, and it's not the fun part of your life, that's for sure. <laughs> um, but once you stop having to interact with people based solely on the fact that you were born around the same time. Um, yeah life becomes so much better. <laughs> like, you start finding... I can't even imagine. You start finding people who like the things you like, and you spend your time with them, and it's this incredible thing. But that's kind of... That's why we wanted to do our Let's Play. Well, I mean, the big reason we started was so Joe and I could have time to, like, reconnect. But why we continue to do it is... that We, we started calling ourselves Instant Friends for Introverts. Introverts. That's kind of our, like, our motto, our catchphrase. Because yeah. being able to be that for someone who needs it is, I think, really important. And also getting to meet the people. I feel like everyone who watches is pretty active in reaching out to us in some way, whether it's comments or messages, emails, whatever. Yeah. So, because we're so small, we have a very direct relationship with everyone. I mean, you watch our show, but you're also on our show now. So, like, <laughs> yeah. you know, it's a super cool balance. It's sort of, you know, like... We're, we're tiny and we're not super popular, so we get to have direct one-to-one -one relationships and meet really cool people. And that's that's a huge motivation for us. So this feels like real Final Boss. Yes, The yes, aliens it does. have kidnapped the... the Hitler. The, the Hitler stand-in. And now we have to kill it, but we have terrible weapons. I'll bet he has several modes, though. I'll bet this isn't the final form of the Final Boss. Yeah, I'd, I'd think so. And I'm also betting I never made it here. <laughs> like, in, <laughs> in previous childhood playthroughs. <sighs> Ugh, come on. I'm just standing up on this roof, and he's yeah. not doing anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> he's throwing all his guys at me. <laughs> oh, there he goes. He's taking a few shots at you. Ah, uh, okay. There's one. Oh, there's your... God, this is kind of... I don't know, I hope this fight does get more interesting, because right now it's kind of just boring. It's really easy. It's not even that it's easy, like, he's just got so many hit points, it's taken forever. I want to get him through this for him and into whatever's next. Oh, looks like something's happening. All right. What? All right. Oh, different attack uh, style. That was hard. <laughs> I did not see that coming. It was only hard because we weren't expecting it. I think those will be easy to dodge if we uh, start again. I mean, if, if he does it again. Um, I walked right into that. <laughs> oh, God. So, Ow. I like that we went with the cop out, like, we're not going to use unlimited credits because that would be cheap. Well, we saw how far we could get. <laughs> <laughs> I uh -oh, made it to uh -oh, level uh -oh. four. <laughs> get All right, let me get that laser, laser since you have. I'll leave the laser, Oh, yeah. fuck. Oh, no. Oh, I look. What? Look, look, look. What? Guarantee you. I hope that's not it. Guarantee you it's got another form. Yeah. Games like this don't end so easy. Because that was really easy. Here we go. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it going to, like, dock with it? Yep. Oh, man. It reminds me of the, like, Avengers uh, ship thing that's in the air. Oh, yeah. I was going to say Independence Day. Oh, that. Oh, yeah. Independence Day. Let's, let's fly that's, a jet up inside this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we're kind of at an end of an episode, but I say we just keep it going. Yeah, let's just keep this it. This is finale. We're, we're, we're getting somewhere close to the end yeah. now. 
<laughs> Hopefully this will not be a 10 minute boss fight. Oh, I think those tanks are going to help us. The Nazis are fighting with us now. Oh, really? I think so. That's pretty sad. Yeah. Well, the good yeah, news is so much they're not really Nazis. <laughs> no, they're Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> They're, they're, um, I'm trying to think of a, a fake racial group that they could discriminate against. They're against, um, the, uh, well, the orange, yellow, blues. Uh-huh. Well, Game Grumps has the Spinnakers. Can we just borrow Spinnakers? For spinnakers. Yes, yes. <laughs> they're a bunch of Spinnakers. Actually, uh, that's a fun topic. You, um, you, you revealed to me, if it's okay to reveal here, that you, uh, you started watching Game Grumps largely because of us, right? Oh yeah, that's super cool, man. Because Game Grumps is our like, our biggest inspiration for our style comes from Game Grumps. I mean, I say our; it's really mine. Like Joe likes them too, but I do the editing, so I kind of make us look like Game Grumps a little bit. <laughs> um, yeah, and I drew our little cartoon heads and stuff. Uh, but uh, but yeah, like it's it's a huge inspiration for me to do this. Oh, you got the metal slug. So. Getting to like in turn reference Game Grumps and have you watch us and then go watch Game Grumps as a result, I feel like I've given something back, you know, and it makes, oh, yeah. makes up for like a tenth of what I steal from them. <laughs> <laughs> so just got to get a few more of those. <laughs> oh. mm. This fight, no. this fight is ridiculous. There's so much going on yeah. that I have no idea. And like, I feel like I'm wasting my. Oh, oh, really? Can't be it still, right? No. Why am I getting cold? No, it's still a little easy. Why am I getting cold? Oh my god, it is Independence Day! Uh, oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> now I feel like I need to look up when this came out, because it obviously had to be after Independence Day. Yeah. Or Independence Day copied. No, I wouldn't think so. <laughs> oh, it's incredible, though. Is that it? I I think uh oh God uh, do we have to fight the death ball again? No. What? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Mission complete. So maybe I didn't yeah. maybe I didn't play Metal Slug X? And it's, oh, it all runs together so much. Metal Slug 2, apparently, just for some random trivia, because I was looking it up on the side here, came out in 1998. So this is still, you know, th this one is later in the series. It's definitely got to be 2000s when this came out. Okay. But, uh, man, what a great game. That was good. That yeah. Was lots of fun. <laughs> so, yeah, I was wrong on this one. Maybe I was playing one of the earlier Metal Slugs when I was younger, and then I played this one as an older, like, college age or something. I don't know. Yeah. Um, it, 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 time is all runs together <laughs> when I think about my past. <laughs> so. Oh, me uh. here. Me her. <laughs> <laughs> Akio. Akio. Enemy sequence. Narusawa Arita. <laughs> Narusawa. Sawa. Such foreign names. <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, it was made by a Japanese company, I'm sure. Um, I, 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 I still remember, I was like 9 or 10, and I went to see a movie that was like a, or it was, I think it was called Ponyo or something like that. Oh yeah, it's a great movie. And, um, I was, I was, I sat through the credits because it was just after I had seen, um, one of the Iron Man movies, and it had the end credits scene, <laughs> and so, I was so stupid that I thought every movie had that. Oh, yeah. And so I sat through Ponyo, and I, or the credits of Ponyo, and I saw a guy named Yoda, and that just made my day. <laughs> like, I didn't even care that there wasn't an end credit scene. I saw a guy named Yoda. Nice. It doesn't even Absolutely. matter. That, that was your stinger after the credits. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yoda, that's awesome. Yeah, I always <laughs> like um, just looking for, like, the totally bizarre names. Oh, wow. The, the wizard who built this game was named Andy. <laughs> and I think that pretty much covers anything you need to know, right? <laughs> a wizard worked on this game. Enemy's <laughs> brain. Oh, I love these credits, actually. They're doing a, like, <laughs> it's not just programmer, it's enemy's brain. 
Um, I like the, the background pictures, too. Yeah, yeah. Great art for the whole game and, uh, and a great style. That kind of, like... <laughs> hi <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, apparently it's actually a big thing. Like, Japanese game designers... I, I learned this from Game Grumps, so just rehashing their information. But um, <laughs> they would rather have nicknames in credits than... Or a lot of them would rather have nicknames than their actual names in game credits and things like that. Like, it's more... Really? Um, recognizable to be known by your nickname or whatever. I don't know. So, hiya. <laughs> it could have been a company or it could have been an individual who just had that nickname. <laughs> well, everybody, wow. thank you for watching. Thank you for, for joining me, Garrett. This was awesome. Um, we'll be joining Garrett, well, I will be, on his channel. It's coming up soon, so get ready for some Battle Block Theater over there. And on this video and all the videos, of course, we'll have a link to Garrett's channel down in the comments and description. So um, check that out. And oh, I'm looking at my score. I don't think we're we're ranked 6,550. So. Uh, 17,178. <laughs> we're, we're, we're directly above um, Tat DJ Pretty Games and directly below Tainted Sock. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a great name. <laughs> tainted Sock. Whoa, dun dun, Tainted Sock. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching. It's the Replay Live. Come back next time. And go to check out Garrett in the meantime. Yay. <laughs> <laughs>